on this week's Hidden Gems, Atlantic Avenue's Blue Anchor Pub. And entertainment reporter Tia Walker here is to tell, the, to tell us that it's haunted. Right? They say it's haunted. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I believe in that. <laughs> well, it's really interesting. This pub was originally in London and it got deconstructed. And then it was stored in a warehouse in New York City in Manhattan for a couple decades. And then it was reconstructed here in the 90s in Delray Beach. Incredible. But it comes along with the ghost of Bertha Stocky. Oh, so do they see the ghost around like at night? All or? the time, oh, they say. Yeah. Check it out. She's thrown stuff at me. She's who? Bertha, the ghost. It is said that the ghost of Bertha Starkey from London lives at the Blue Inker Pub in Delray Beach because she was caught by her husband in a compromising position when he came home early from work. Supposedly was murdered on the spot by her husband in the pub wow. and her soul remains. But how did Bertha get to Delray Beach? The pub originated on Chancery Lane in London. The bar was deconstructed and shipped across the pond, stowed away with the original panes of glass, worn wood and fixtures, along with the tall tales of the spirit of Bertha. And was reconstructed on this corner in 1997. Along with the bar came abnormalities, like the ceiling fan that they say won't shut off no matter what the owners try, even pulling the plug. It was expressed to me that I would not be able to turn off the fan, so I went and turned off the main breaker. I came out giggling, only to find it on. You don't think it was birth, and before I even say Bertha, the ox horn with brass tips that fell off the wall and almost hit me in the face when I said her name. And I have five witnesses on that account. Haunted oddities are reported frequently by patrons of the pub. Um, I've had people sit here and they've said they've seen her reflection. Sometimes she's very active where it's three or four times a week and sometimes I might not hear or see her for a couple weeks. When Peggy and her husband Mark bought the pub five years ago, All right. they kept the tradition alive of ringing the bar's original brass bell every night at 10 to keep Bertha at bay. But Peggy says several mediums have advised her to stop. I said, would you please stop doing that? And I was like, excuse me, she doesn't like it. She, this is her home, and for you or whomever to make fun of her and ask her to leave is not nice. With all the haunting hijinks, do people think Peggy's stories are absurd? I don't think so, because I think there's enough people that really do believe in spirits, and I, in fact, lived in a haunted house, and I've had so many witnesses. And it's, so, therefore, it's validated. So when we were at the pub, she showed me this selfie that some customers took, and it was them in the pub, and you see some of the pub's fixtures. But then in the background, it's like the sky opened up, and there's this ghostly glow. Oh, my goodness. Like that it, is too scary. And they still own this place and want to work there? They That's still own it. They, it's right there on Atlantic Avenue. Now, if you want to find out other hidden gems, you go to our website, WPTV.com. Click on the Hidden Gems tab, and there's an interactive map here that you can poke around and find things around oh South goodness. Florida. And there's also an online form. So if you want to submit an idea for us to check out, you can do that there too. Sounds good. So we found our next spooky spot in Delray Beach. That's right. <laughs> Steve's not down with the spooky at all.